So I don't know how much you know about Oprah, but as somebody who wasn't raised in the US, I didn't know much about her until I read her book, What I Know For Sure. And this book, let me tell you, is one of those really, really good books that you can just like open and read a random page and get something out of it. It's just that good, it's so good. And so I wanted to share with you some of my favorite quotes and lessons from the book, as I think they'll be very helpful no matter who you are or in what stage of life you're in. So a little background about Oprah, if you're not familiar. She's a black woman born in the 50s in the US. She was not born in a rich family by any means. In fact, she was born from a teen pregnancy and she was mostly raised by her grandmother. So she didn't have any connection. She didn't have any money. She's black. So she also had to deal with racism and all those problems. I don't know how much I can put myself in her shoes. But what I do know is that she did not have an easy life. And somehow she became one of the most known and influential people of our century. And so she's one of those people who's not only strong and capable, but she has so much wisdom to share. And I really, really think it comes through the book. I wanna talk about one of the most prominent and I think important lessons in this book. And this is that you have to have a learner mindset because if you keep playing the victim in life, you're not gonna go anywhere. You think that if Oprah had a victim mindset, she would be where she is today. No way. She was poor, discriminated, she could have thrown the biggest pity party on this world, but she didn't. She fought for what she had. She tried to learn from everything. She kept going. And most of all, she believed that she was not a victim of anything. She believed that what happened to her was not against her, it was to teach her something. It was to bring her farther in her path. And there's a couple quotes that really embody this message. And the number one that I really, really love is that every choice you make gives you the chance to pave your own road. And isn't that beautiful? Every time you make a choice, every time you move on from something, you are taking another step and putting another brick down to your path. You're going somewhere. Regardless of whether something goes bad or it goes good, you're moving. And multiple times throughout the book, Oprah says that every time something didn't go her way, she asked herself, what is this here to teach me? And I think this is such a good thing to ask yourself because we can't throw a pity party every time something goes bad. We need to learn and move on. I think in life, we are all dealt some cards. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, but accepting them as they are is not gonna move you anywhere. You have to accept and realize that you have the power within you to say, hey, no, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna try, I am gonna make this change. Because if you don't believe in you, who's gonna believe in you? Nobody, nobody. Nobody will believe in you unless you believe in you. In fact, she says that you're always a choice away from a new beginning. So every time something fails, you're just one choice away from starting something new, from having a new beginning, from going down a different path. And she also says that nothing happens until you decide that it's going to happen. Nothing in life comes like this. You always have to make the choice to accept it. You know, sometimes people are so scared that they don't make the choice to move forward, but nothing will ever happen until you decide that it's going to happen, until you decide to make it your mission to make it happen, until you decide to move on, until you decide to conquer your fears and just go. Okay, because sometimes people don't start something because they're afraid of what will happen. They think of the future and agonize that everything is gonna go bad. But how do you know if you don't even try? You can't know. Do you have a magic ball? Like, you don't. I'm sorry. You can't know that it's gonna go bad. So just go for it, okay? Just go for it, just do it. We all have some demons inside of us that makes us behave in ways that aren't really productive, let's say that. And she says that you cannot change what you don't acknowledge. Because you know, fear of failure and all the limiting beliefs that you have in your head and all the negative self-talk, they stem from somewhere. And until you're ready to talk about it, until you're ready to deal with it, you're not gonna be able to go anywhere because you won't be able to change. And so she really, really encourages the reader to do that inner work because that is the most important work you do in your life. In fact, she says that life is truly about becoming more 
more of who you are. This is one of my favorite quotes. I know I already said it, but truly this quote really resonates with me. It's so, 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 so beautiful. In life, you're meant to evolve. And if you're not evolving and you're stuck, that's not a good sign. That means that you're not moving on, that you're not going forward. But becoming more of who you are is the real goal in life. Life is about evolving. It's about becoming a better version of you every single day. And putting in that work is really, really hard. But I truly think is the only thing worth doing because you know a lot of people focus on the superficial things in life but there will come a day where it's just gonna be you and you and if you don't have that good relationship with yourself you're gonna be fucked let me tell you that much i i just really think that eventually everybody has that moment where they need to face their problems, they need to face their reality, they need to face who they really are and if they don't know who they are that's when life crises come along and um, you don't want to be doing that. One of the quotes that caught my eye the most was if you want to be offered the best of the world, offer the world your best. And this is so beautiful because this is not just like a give and take. The quote it's not if you want to receive the best of the world and you have to give the world your best. No, no, no. This is about living in accordance to you, to your values, to who you truly are. What you value is what you get in life. And another quote in the book that's very close to this is become the change you want to see. You know, I really believe that in this world we gotta lead by example. One of the things that I most hate is when people say do as I say and not as I do or like what is that what does that mean if you know somebody who says that to you delete them from your life this is not no 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 that should not be your standard if you say it it means that you're aware that what you're saying doesn't match your actions so what you say that your values are are not what you actually put out in the world because a person who gives you relationship advice and then their relationship sucks even more than yours that's not a good person to take advice from and that's probably not a good person to take any advice from not just with relationship and you know, I know that it's not good to generalize, but I, I truly think that this is one of the most important things in life. You need to do what you say you're gonna do. You need to act in accordance with who you are. If you say that you like generosity and you like kindness, then be generous, be kind. Don't try to get that out of people and then you don't give that back to the world. Because again, if you want to be offered the best of the world, you need to offer the world your best. If you're not ready to offer, then you're not gonna be offered. And the last lesson I wanted to touch upon is the idea of living in the moment and being present. This is an idea that I talked about many times on my channel. It's one that it's really close to my heart because I'm not somebody who is really used to that and in the past few months it has been really one of my main focus to be more present, to be more aware of my body, of my surrounding, of my life, of my thoughts and all of that. And you know, the book is really about all the things that she knows for sure, all the things that she has learned in her life. And she says that this moment right now is the only one you have for sure. And I think that should be a good enough reason to live more in the present. So although I really love this book, it has really left me wondering about the things I know for sure. What do I know in my bones to be true? And so I'm making up a bit of a list about the things that I know for sure. But I am really curious to know if there is something that you know for sure, something that you know for sure to be true. If something comes to mind, please, please share it with me down below. And I hope Hope to see you next week.